What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Brandon. I'm the owner of Taco Vinyl. And today we're going to be going over a few things. Uh, the first, we're going to be installing one of our brand new 4Runner Pro grills on Garrick's 4Runner. Um, but we're also going to be doing a comparison of um, the three different years and their models plus the fitment and why our grill with mounting the letters and the fitment on the actual vehicle is one of the best on the market. Okay guys, to get started, uh, well, first thing that we're gonna do is pop the hood on the vehicle and we're gonna remove all the pins in the plastic covering so that we have access to the grill. Um, today guys, we're gonna be using a cat claw to pop out the pins. Uh, you're gonna compress the button, which allows them to pop out. Okay, last pin, uh, get this one pried out. Uh, now we can store the clips and remove the plastic covering. Okay guys, now that we've removed the plastic covering over the top of the grill, we'll be using a cat claw and a 10 millimeter socket to remove this upper grill piece. So we're gonna use the cat claw, we're gonna pop up the clip and then remove it. Okay, now we're going to be using a 10 millimeter socket uh, in whatever form you have it to remove the radiator mount uh, mounting bracket. Okay guys, uh, to finally remove the upper grill piece, we're going to be um, prying back these four clips on the uh, lower section of the grill, which will allow the upper grill piece to pop off. So depending if you're going to keep uh, the inner black grill piece, um, these tabs, if you're not going to keep it, you can break the tabs, which shortens up your install and you can just pop it off. Or you have to lower a clip to be able to release the tab. So this is the tab uh, that I'm referring to. So this is what I recommend doing, is placing your cat claw to keep the tab down and then also getting another tool like a knife or something to push down the other tab so that when you go to pull this, you can use both hands and it'll pop, pop right off. Okay guys, uh, the last part of the disassembly of our upper grill replacement is removing um, the screws that are placed here so that we can remove the black piece from the white bezel. Okay, so there's 10 screws that we'll need to remove. These two, got this one, this one, the two on the radiator mount, and then the same for that side. Once you remove all 10 screws, you're gonna compress these clips or move them back, which will release the pressure and uh, you can remove the grill. So I'll go ahead and start removing these. Now that we've got all 10 screws removed, uh, we can remove the radiator mount and then compress these clips, you can do one side and then the other. Okay. The black piece will start to come up, which releases the groove. Now we have the bezel separated. Now that we've removed the bezel, we're gonna transition and get into the new grill that you just purchased from Taco Vinyl. Okay guys, we're gonna go over what you get with our Forerunner um, Pro Grill Bundle. Uh, we'll get this box opened up and set everything out on the table so you can see what's included. Okay, now that we've got everything out of the box, I'm gonna go over what you're gonna get. Um, Material-wise, you're gonna get a full roll um, of 3M tape. Uh, to help you harness your grill uh, bezel to the vehicle. Then uh, you're going to get some priming adhesion promoter. Uh, what this will do is it'll help the 3M tape actually stick to both sides of the plastic. Okay. Then you get your sets of letters, but Garrick 
won't be using these. He's doing something a little bit different, which you'll have to see uh, later on in the video. Then uh, you're gonna get your upper grill replacement and then the main uh, center bezel. Okay guys, the first thing that we're gonna do uh, to start reassembling uh, the front grill is we're gonna take the upper grill, upper grill piece and mount it to your stock bezel. Okay, to install the upper grill piece um, into your stock bezel, you'll need your 10 screws and the radiator mount so that we can assemble everything back together. To get started, uh, we're gonna take your upper grill piece, take the stock piece, face down, and then take our piece, and set it into it, and then you're gonna clip it down. Okay. Once you're all compressed, you're ready to go so that you can install your 10 screws and the radiator mount back in its place. Okay guys, um, to start putting the screws back in, you wanna put your radiator mount back on, okay? And install a few screws for this guy. So you don't forget. four screws to mount the radiator mount, and then you just need the three other ones on each side. Now that we've got the radiator mount back on, all 10 screws, everything's clipped in, your upper grill section is now complete. And now that we've finished the full upper grill assembly, this can be set aside. And now, we're gonna work on uh, the center bezel piece, in which Garrick opted for Toyota letters in color matched 04 or white, which we're gonna be installing on the grill. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started installing the letters. Um, one reason our grills um, are much easier to install is that most letters come with a 3M backing and little nubs. And then on the grill, there's little indents where you place them on but 99% of the time, they're gonna be off just a little bit. So our grills are a little different in the fact that there are holes on the back side of the grill, uh, perfectly lined up, ready to go. And you're gonna take an eighth inch drill bit, drill them out, they kind of center themselves. You can make it a little bit bigger if you want some adjustment, but this will help you perfectly align your letters as you're installing them. Um, you don't have to do this uh, when you drill. It can leave out just little pieces. So you can grab a razor blade and all you're gonna do is stick it in the drilled hole, rotate it. You wanna be careful not to scratch your bezel. Uh, that's why sometimes I don't recommend doing it. But to clean up the front end, this is the best way to do it. Okay, we just finished drilling all the holes uh, for the letters. Now, you're gonna take all the screws and you're actually gonna put them into the holes before you even touch the letters. This will make sure that when you're mounting the letters, and instead of doing one by one and possibly having the letter rotate, having both or all the screws in place will allow you to set the letter there. And as you tighten it, it'll just pull it in. We got all the screws in and uh, uh, screwed in all the way. Now we're gonna start over here with the T. Uh, we're going to be able to place it on the holes on the back side, onto the screws, like such. Okay, and then you're going to grab your drill. You can use a drill or a screwdriver, really doesn't matter. I've um, done enough of these where this is kind of my preferred way of doing it. First letter is mounted, all lined up and ready to go. Now we're gonna start on the O-Y-O-T-A. Okay, something specific for the O's is the one that is centered up top is this one, and then there's one that's slightly off-centered. That's the bottom when you go and flip it around. 
If you do it the other way, like this, it doesn't line up. So make sure that the top is up. That way it'll line up. Okay guys, we just finished up with the letters. Uh, the next step is applying the 3M adhesive on the back side of the grill. You have it, and then for the 3M adhesive, we're gonna be applying our primer adhesion promoter to help with the adhesion of the 3M tape to the grill and also to the vehicle. Before we add the 3M adhesive, we're gonna to wanna to use our primer adhesion promoter. You wanna open the bag, use the little uh, pad, and you're gonna to wanna to wipe down the whole backside of your grill. After you're done applying your adhesion promoter, you're gonna let it sit for five minutes to cure. Then you're gonna take your 3M adhesive. There's a few ways that you can apply it to the back of the grill. I'm gonna show you the best way to do it that will not only help you align it, but allow the grill to sit completely flush. With the screws kind of uh, set into those divots, what we're gonna wanna do is run two strips of 3M adhesive from this side over to here. And on your way across, you're gonna cover up those screws, okay? And the second piece you're gonna add is up here on the top. You're just gonna put one strip all the way across, okay? Nothing goes on the bottom. We just finished installing all the 3M tape on the back. I just kind of wanted to go over it with you. Two strips in the middle. Make sure that you cover up the screws and then you're gonna put one strip on the top. So for our grills, uh, you can all, always buy them in the classic, just standard gray Toyota. Or you can do something different. This is a custom colored magenta that will be going on um, a forerunner this next week. Or you can do just a uh, color match to your vehicle, whether that be Calvary Blue, Inferno, whatever. But we do use Toyota certified color, so it will be a perfect match. Okay guys, before we jump into the full install, uh, we're gonna go over our 2020 and 2021 version of our 4Runner Pro Grill. Um, the first difference that you're gonna see is on the main bezel piece. Um, we actually make the notch for you right here uh, for the TSS sensor or your cruise control so that this garnish can fully sit flush on that bezel, okay? Now for the 2020 and 2021 version, we drill four additional screw holes for you. For the 2020 version, your two outer screws will be an inch and a half. And then the two inner screws will be an inch and a quarter. And then the 2021 version, all four holes take the inch and a half. Now the holes, if it doesn't seem like it's being pulled in properly, you can adjust the screw instead of using the factory hole, you can use the hole that uh, we drilled for you. When you use those screws, you'll pass them through. There's gonna be a little bit of a gap here uh, between the bezel and this piece. You're going to put the screw in, tighten it until this line sits flush with the grill, just like this. Once you get it to this uh, spec by tightening it down, you're good to go. Okay guys, now that we've kind of gone over the 2020 and 2021 version, now's the best part, let's get to the install. Before we get our upper grill section uh, installed and compressed, we need to install our centerpiece, okay? The biggest, most important step to this is how you peel the 3M tape, okay? So we're gonna remove the two center strips from the middle but then on the upper section, you're only gonna do the two edges, and that's where you're gonna hold when placing the grill on, okay? When placing it, you're gonna install the bottom section, almost hook it, pry it upward, press it on, and then release the top, okay? Just make sure it's centered. Uh, two really important steps um, here before you actually install it. The 3M tape, okay? The two center ones you will completely remove, but the top one, you're going to only partially remove, okay? And what I mean by that is you're gonna pull it to this point and then tuck it up on both sides. What this will do is allow you to slide up the upper section so that the grill sits on your center centerpiece completely flush. So I'm removing the 3M tape. Now if you pull this off before, it's gonna be hard to get it fully centered and compressed all the way. So now that I do have it fully installed, I'm gonna work on pulling this out, which will allow the top part 
to stick, giving you that adhesion and setting that you want. Last piece of our install is replacing and installing the upper grill section. Again, you're gonna need your two clips and your single, uh, your single 10 millimeter bolt. Once we get this on, we'll be ready to go. When installing the upper grill section, you wanna make sure that these tabs are lined up with their spots and that also that this tooth is lined up over here. We got our upper grill section mostly compressed. I just wanna go over a few key components to help you get it installed with ease, okay? Um, the first one is on the back side. There's a few tabs. You wanna make sure those get pressed down and into their slots so that they can slide in, okay? Um, if you have to, you can trim a little bit of the bezel piece to give it more of a direct slot to slide into, okay? Other than that, this grill is ready to go. We can clip it in, clip in the other side. We're ready to go. Uh, before we close this up, I just wanna go over a few things. When you have the 2020 and 2021 uh, kit, remember you do not have the radiator mount anymore. So the two clips that you're gonna be using to mount the grill are these two, and that's more than sufficient to hold the grill to the vehicle. Okay guys, last section is installing the upper uh, grill section on top and putting all the clips back in. Let's install the clips uh, that go into the plastic now. Uh, the best way to install these is once they're compressed from being pulled out, you're gonna decompress them, pop the clip out, install it, and then you're gonna press it back to flush. Okay guys, well that wraps it up for our 4Runner Pro Grill install. Thanks for watching and please make sure to like and subscribe. All the links are in the bio.